Welcome back guys, welcome to your first Spring Boot Essential Training Series video. Now if you've been watching my Java tutorials and you want to step up your game with Java web application development using Spring Framework, then this tutorial series is for you. And I would highly recommend watch this tutorial series step by step so you get the better understanding of Spring Framework overall. So before we get started with Spring Boot, we need to kind of understand some of the basics of Spring Framework. So the Spring Framework provides a comprehensive infrastructural support for developing enterprise Java application. Now, what does that really mean? Well, Spring provides the plumbing and you focus on the business logic and it removes a significant amount of boilerplate code and if you're a developer, you know boilerplate code means copy and paste, which in turn means defect. It also makes application development much easier because you focus on what you know instead of having to go look for those boring boilerplate talks that nobody ever commit to memory. Spring also promotes good object-oriented practice as well as do not repeat yourself principle because they are really backed into a framework. Well, define interface definitions, uh, leveraging dependency injection, and the concept of true pojo are really part of that object-oriented programming practice. Well, you can see that we are at spring.io website, which is a website for this Spring framework. We're going to click on project. And now we get to this page. Now, Spring has so many projects going on, such as Spring framework which basically provides a core support for dependency injection, transaction management, web apps, data access, messaging and more. We have Spring Data which provides a consistent approach to a data access, a relational or non-relational. We have the Spring Security which protects your application with a comprehensive and extensible authentication and authorization support. And we have so many more Spring projects going on, such as Spring Mobile, Spring for Android. So you could do this Android development using this framework as well. Spring Web Services, Spring Webflow. But in this tutorial series, we are particularly going to look at the Spring Boot project. I'm going to click on that and now it gives us some information. We have some versions of Spring Boot. The current one is 1.5.3. We have the reference and API documentation link. So I'm going to right click and click and open that in a new tab. Let's look at this is a documentation for your Spring Boot project. We have a quick start guide here as well. So we can build our Spring Boot application using Maven, which is a build tool. And we have the Gradle support as well. So in the next video, we will create Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA and I'll show you how to configure your project and make sure that you will be up and running with your web application which is going to be Hello World application. Alright so I'll see you guys in the next one and yeah that's it.